Welcome back, everyone. Fighting the opioid crisis starts right here at home, and that is why the Drug Enforcement Agency, in partnership with local law enforcement all around the country, they're really holding national prescription drug take back days to help in this effort. The latest news today, as Eyewitness News reporter Clee Bryan learned, dropping off your unused pills may keep you from inadvertently fueling someone else's addiction. Addiction is about loneliness. Recovery is about connection. Substance abuse counselor John Bellin is passionate about recovery because for 13 years he's been in recovery. It's something that will come in and take over your life and when it does, it's not just the drug that keeps you out there and keeps you using, it's the shame that's wrapped up in it as well. Like so many battling addiction, Bellin was hooked on prescription pills. It's a deadly trend in the national opioid epidemic that the Centers for Disease Control says kills about 115 Americans a day. A lot of people just think of an opioid as heroin. It's in the medications also. Those pills contain the same thing. To help cut off the opioid supply chain, police departments throughout the country partnered with the Drug Enforcement Administration on Saturday for National Prescription Drug Take Back Day. The aim is to get people to look through their medicine cabinets and dispose of expired and unused drugs and turn them over to police so they don't end up in the wrong hands. You have a visitor who comes to your house and they, you know, could be using the bathroom. And next thing you know, they're looking in that medicine cabinet. Last year, the DEA collected and disposed of almost a million pounds of medicine nationwide. This year's slogan is don't be the dealer. Dropping off prescription drugs doesn't just have to happen today. Most police departments have these medicine drop-off boxes in their lobbies that look like mailboxes, where you can safely and anonymously get rid of your unneeded medications anytime. In Gloucester Township, I'm Cleve Bryan, CBS3 Eyewitness News.